May we have the non-sporting group in the ring, please. Yeah, we talked about um, the toy group being diverse and having lots of different makes and shapes. The non-sporting group takes that diversity to a whole nother level. I'm a huge fan of diversity and inclusivity. Our sport's all about that. And this group really represents it. That's a good way of putting it, absolutely. Yeah, from a Dalmatian to a French Bulldog, best in show wins from this group, from the non-sporting 11 in the history of this great event. I get a feeling he's going right to it. Yeah, and he does seem to down be the line going on both sides, yeah. yes. This is very decisive on his part. What he's done is he's, he's, he's very much my approach. Maybe as he's been size. judging the group, as he's been judging the group, he's been sorting in his mind because he's wasting no time to make his cut. It right? also looks like the size and speed of the dogs. Yeah. So to go yeah. around. But yeah, the fact that he's... he knew this, Thank right. he's been sorting as he goes. That's right. An eclectic group. Okay, once around. So he's going to be watching for those breed specific features, outline, how they're moving. Skiba's moving beautifully. Even though these are all in the same group, they all seem, as you talk about diverse, they seem so different. The way Absolutely. And they have to be shown at the right pace. You see the Chow is not racing. So Correct. He's at a nice pace for Correct. his breed. Good point. So it's not about who moves the fastest. <laughs> it's who moves the most efficiently and the most correctly for their breed. And that's what he's, he is assessing now along with other things that he's checking off in his mind that he's thought about each of these dogs. And even though, like, the Lhasa has so much coat, you can still tell. Yeah, you look at top line, you look at where the feet are falling. <laughs> yeah. As judges, we have to see past the hair, we have to see past the trims, we have to, uh, you know, really be able to assess all of that. And you have to the... block out the cheers. Yes, <laughs> you, <laughs> you do. You can't let that affect you. You do. That cannot affect your decision. And it won't. Mr. Odom won't let that affect him. I have faith in his integrity. Standard poodle, number one. There we go. Siva. Siva. They continue to dominate in the non-sporting group. Lhasa, number two. Bulldog, number three. Chow Chow, four. You talked about the bow right away. You pointed out, hey, this is what we expect. And right on cue, uh, showstopper here. Yes. <laughs> and yes. I, we're seeing a pattern tonight with, with Bourbon and Bono, the whip of the Havanese, and, and see, but these You're are- You're right. They're all the number one in these their groups the top... as far as rankings in the country, so. I would say that n not one of them, all three of them, came in here and really left very little room for their competitors that you know they came in with a reputation but they also put on spectacular performances That's yeah right. they didn't give an inch so um That's well right. well deserved wins and crystal has her show dog siba on display absolutely beautiful look at the eyes what is it about this dog in particular you could hear the crowd you knew this was going to be one of the favorites now it won the class uh, she knows she's special, and I just think everything she does shows that, that her confidence in herself. We see the standard poodle. What is it about them that makes them good family dogs? Well, I have a two-year-old son, and they are best friends. So you'd probably have to ask him. <laughs> All right. Well, we will see you going for Best in Show tomorrow night. Yes, thank you so much. All right, Siva. For the best access, perspective, and personalities in all of sports, follow us at Fox Sports on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.